So Sony had their PlayStation Showcase yesterday and they revealed their newest handheld gaming device that nobody really asked for. Rumors had been spreading since April about a certain handheld that would be for remote play and I think a lot of people, including myself, were in denial hoping we would get something a little closer to a PS Vita 2. But what we got was this. The Project Q, which the internet has already taken care of degrading with a barrage of Switch-related memes. Okay, so this thing is literally a PS5 controller with an 8-inch tablet in the middle of it. Honestly, I love the design, mostly because I love the way it looks like one of those stupid futuristic game console renders from the early 2010s, meaning I like it because it looks stupid. This handheld is advertised as basically letting you remote play from your PS5 on a dedicated device from another room. Which I think is really odd because anyone who owns a PS5 definitely already owns a phone, and this little adapter here is only like $13. Rumors are that this will not be a cloud gaming device, but that may change. What I mean is that you will have to have the games already installed on your PS5. There will be no games actually on this thing. And if this thing isn't going to work without a really strong internet connection, I don't think it's going to turn out so well. Sony says they will be revealing more info about it in the coming months and it's set to be released by the end of 2023. Now let's talk about how this thing could go well. It's going to depend on a couple different factors. Of course, the first thing is definitely going to be the price. If this thing is over $150, just forget about it. And I really don't see it being less than $200. The DualSense Edge is like $200 and is anyone really buying that? Maybe, I don't know, I didn't buy it. So an overpricing will kill this thing unless they reveal some other features that make it stand out beyond the other cloud gaming devices that are already on the market. Another thing that I do like about it is that it does have an ergonomic look to it. Being that it is huge, the PS5 controller is a comfortable controller to hold. One of the things I hate the most about the Switch is I can't hold it for more than 20 minutes with the Joy-Cons without my hands starting to cramp up. And then the last thing I would say is they need to make the link between the PS5 and the Project Q like really seamless. One annoying thing about remote play is the setup. I mean, it's not that bad, but you have to load the app and then you got to resync the controller. It's kind of a whole thing. Sony needs to make sure that the thing syncs up really fast to your PS5, even when it loses connection when the handheld's asleep. I'm curious if this thing's going to have any sort of SD card, because at least that would kind of open up the modding community to do things with it. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see once we get more information on it. So I definitely don't know if I'm going to pick this thing up yet. Uh, I'm going to decide later after we get some more info. But let me know in the comment section down below. Are you going to pick this thing up? What do you guys think about this thing? Are the Wii U jokes getting kind of old? <laughs> let me know in the comment section. I'll see you all in the next video. Click this button here. Be sure to enter our 25k giveaway. That's still going on for the next, until June 2nd. So if you're watching this video after June 2nd, I don't know what to tell you. Wait for 50k. And then also I'll subscribe to the channel. Peace. Oh, and like the video.